During this period, 
vigilantes had placed a bounty on Indian scalps and hunting Indians became the order of the day in February of 1866. $100 for each male scalp, $50 for a female scalp, and $25 for each child scalp.
Ghost of Shawnee, where the birds and the bees won't know me. Men and war won't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no scorn. I'm headed off to Old Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me. Where there ain't no judges to whom I gotta plead, cause I can be me in Old Shoshone. It's like my mind just uh, opens up and I don't have to really think about anything that bothers me and I can sit there and sing and feel it in my heart. To me, I feel relief. So that's where you can take your frustrations out. I, had, I did this mentoring project with my grandfather, Waylon Benazzi. It was to uh, learn the responsibilities that come with leading songs and having your own your own uh, drum. What I was taught from my grandpa Waylon is that uh, that drum is like yourself and it, it represents you. You never put food on your drum or water on your drum, but you never leave your drum unattended. Song keeper, you gotta know your songs from for different dances, like the coin dance, uh, giveaway songs. 
And another responsibility is if the singer says that we're going to end the song pretty soon, and there's a hand sign for it. If everybody misses it, they could go over on a beat and you could hear an extra thump in there. And you get judged on those type of things, especially when you go to events like uh, competitions. It improved my life just by the feeling of singing an old song. Wow, it gives him uh, feeling good for himself and bring, bringing, out, bringing himself out and not being shy. Everybody does make a mistake while they're singing. And if you go over a beat or you come in too high and your voice cracks, that, um, you know, don't stop. Don't stop there. You got to keep going, never give up. And to me, I think that ties in with a lot of things in your life, too. You know, you got to keep going with it. It doesn't end. It's really important to learn the songs because without the songs and without learning how to do all of this, then the tradition dies out. But I don't want that to happen. There was uh, very horrible things that happened to our people, such as uh, they, they had uh, stuck two American flags in the ground and forced our people to march uh, between them after they had skewered the children, babies, on those flags, those flagpoles, and our people had to walk through that, uh, you know, to, uh, for the military to let them know that if they tried anything on that force march, you know, that uh, death would be the end result for them. A lot of our people uh, suffered terribly. The elders that fell on the trail were 
our people weren't allowed to help them or pick them up. They could only be forced to jump over them, step over them. And they were left there to, uh, to die, to freeze to death. Yeah!